The first thing I think that's really uh, pretty cool is the students are going to use technology totally different. It's not going to be just social media technology. And what's really neat is the ability to take that and transfer it later on into their careers. So that's one. Another area I would say would be the flexibility. Many of our students are probably going to go to work, uh, maybe part-time, uh, maybe online, whatever. However, what's going to be cool is that if they don't want to be in class at 10 o'clock uh, from 10 to 11, they can get that job if they need it. And I would say the third thing is that it provides them an opportunity to develop some discipline and to maybe even become better self-learners. I, I have several classes that are service learning and exper experiential learning type courses. Uh, one of those would be in my SPES 440, the exercise testing uh, and the prescription course. Uh, the students have to take on a client. And with that client, of course, they're training them, designing their programs, um, and they have to do the assessments and all of that that you would do as a personal trainer. Now, we're in this situation. We're going online. They don't and cannot meet with their clients. And so, what am I going to do? And so I thought, sat down and just thought for a while, and I thought, well, you know what? I do a lot of videos in a lot of different classes, different courses that I teach throughout the years. And so why don't I have and make up an assignment where the student has to make a video each week where they are going to share with their client what is the plan for the week? What is their exercise plan for the week? So this is what we've done. I, what I've done, I've created an assignment using a video, using technology, the students have to film themselves, and then, of course, they take that, send it, and upload it to their, their client, and upload it to the Canvas, because they're going to get a grade on it. Oh, yeah, the students are the lifeblood of Kansas Wesleyan University. And I'm not just talking about the financial aspect. I'm talking about the smiles, the voices, the laughter. Uh, it, the the uh, student that when you're lecturing is, is watching every move you make as you're moving around the classroom. To see that uh, is exciting to the professor. To see the hunger that they have in their eyes is, is you know, it's, a, it's just an incredible, incredible moment uh, for the teacher. Uh, you know, that, that kind of thing is going to be missed in the next uh, eight weeks. For me, is the willingness for our partners um, to work with our students, uh, whether it's internships or partnerships uh, like uh, District 305 and working with, with us and my students uh, with our Rector Reality program or my internships with Salina Ortho or Salina Regional Hospi Hospital or the YMCA or Genesis and Brookdale Assisted Living. Uh, it, it's it, their willingness to want to help and be involved in the education of our students to me is is just incredible the, my favorite place or places in Salina would be Starbucks and Mocha's now you might ask why well first they're really really friendly uh, I come in there sometimes 5.30 in the morning, I've, I've stopped at Starbucks. They're just barely opening the door. And, and I always go in. I don't use the, the drive through I like to go in, see the people, and, uh, you know, give them a little encouragement with a smile. And guess what? They do the same thing back. And uh, that, you know, that just gives, gives me energy. They always, almost always, you know, say hi. Or, or smile, or even stop what they're doing and, and, and chat just a bit. You know, that is Salina, uh, a, a friendly, friendly community. I would probably choose a background in Spain, hiking in Spain. Uh, why? Why would I say that? Well, we were going to Spain for a Wesleyan journey. 
And because of the coronavirus, of course, that got canceled. And, and so for me, it, it kind of brings everything back around that if I'm going to have to do an online service to my students, online teaching to my students, it would be kind of cool to have a background of myself, Neil Ward, and our 12 to 15 students with our backpacks hiking from Orencii, Spain to Santiago. And I think that will be my background for my virtual class.